Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Nancy Drew Treasure in the Royal Tower. Let's see. Okay, so when we last left off, ladies and gentlemen, um, when we last left off, um, we were about to head outside once again. This is at the point in the game is where it gets a little bit intense. Okay, so what we need to do is we go to this machine here, and there's a rat. But there's also something more. There is the medallion, the last medallion that we need to complete the game. I'm locked out! If I don't get inside soon, I'll freeze to death! Uh-oh. It looks like oh, this is the part where we get stuck. So what we need to do right now, if I can remember how... Let's see, if I can remember how um, this puzzle works. Basically, we do this. There we go. What the? What's going on out here? Is that you, Nancy? <sighs> Come inside. It's freezing out here. What kind of a stunt was that, Missy? Sorry about that, but I was locked out. Well then, what can I say except good thinking? Well, at least we don't have to go back outside once more. But sometimes you do, because... Here's the thing, if you try to do that thing again, he'll kick you out, which leads to a death scene. Well, it's not a death scene, but it's just game over, you know? So we're not going to do that. The purpose of this Let's Play is to just to finish the game. So now, we gotta talk to Lisa about the situation. Nancy, I heard you got locked out. You could have frozen to death. So, what was Dexter hiding out there? Let me see. I don't know. It just looked like your average maintenance shed to me. So, um, next time you give me a hot tip, Lisa, it better come with some earmuffs. Huh, I thought for sure I was on to something. I still think Dexter's shady. I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Keep me posted! Your thing, Lisa. But anyways, we're getting closer to the end of the game, I believe. So... The next thing that we need to do is we have to get up early in the morning at 3 a.m. Because I do believe that Professor Hodgkiss is almost done with her, um, with her transcript, I think. So we've got the third and final medallion, which is exactly what we need for the end of the game. And it is for the Royal Tower. I can guarantee you that. Alright, so let's get up by 3, because... That's what time the Professor Hotchkiss wake up at. You can also call Bess and George about the situation. But right now, we're definitely getting close to the end of the game. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Alright, let's see if Professor Hotchkiss is done here. There she is. I'm so glad you stopped by. I've translated the entire journal. It's fabulous! And, as an added bonus, it includes Marie's official decoder. Something no one else has ever found before. That's amazing. See you soon. Goodbye. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized something else. I just realized something else. There's still something else that I also need to do before I head to the tower. And... That is to use this green medallion. Alright. And also, while we're at it, we gotta go to Professor Hotchkiss' room one more time. Because I do believe that there's something in here that we might want to check it out. 
we have to do this a little bit quicker because, you know. I think I see what the symbols in the stained glass mean now. Let's see. Purple rose, hold diamond, key of queen. But where have I seen a purple rose? And what's a diamond key? Don't play dumb with me, Nancy Drew. Here's something that she completed. That's amazing. All right, so now we need to get out of this room. We're definitely getting closer to the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. So that means that we're almost done here. So the next thing that we need to do here is that we need to go to the library. One final time, hopefully, unless I forget something else. The last thing that I need is to forget something that is very important. So, we're gonna save right here. I'm gonna save to careful because this is the library and it's off limits. But you could also call Bess and George, but we're not going to right now because we're getting so close to the end of the game. Alright, here we go. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So, three, star, seven, two. Oh my goodness. This is stressing me out every time. Alright, so. Now we're going to head up the stairs to the library. We're going straight to the fence. We're going to head down the ladder. All right. All right, so we're going to save to help right now. Because we're getting so close to the end of the game. That's right, we're getting so close to the end of the game. this puzzle one more time. Am I getting stuck here? Hold on. I think I'm getting lost. There we go. So what we need to do is we need to go to the gates right here. It's locked. Of course it's locked. That's why we need to get this key. And we gotta solve this puzzle once again. And I forgot how this goes. Save it as puzzle. There we go. Alright, so I keep forgetting of how to solve this puzzle. But there is a way to do this, and if you look at this wall here, you have to put it in some sort of order. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and solve this, if I can remember what it is. Let's see. It goes like... It goes like this. There we go. Managed to solve that. Then, no, this is the wrong way. We're gonna head up the tower. The best thing is that we don't have to solve that stair puzzle again. Alright, there we go. We gotta go like this, and this is what where you need this item. Remove the tiles, and here's the, the key. So now, the next thing that we need to do is to place the medallion, and we're going to find out who the culprit is. So, let's see. First off, it's the red one, the blue one, and 
no, not the blue one, the green one, I believe, and then the blue one over here. And I'm definitely going to save it as an ending. I'm going to save it as an ending so that I won't have to do this again. And we're going to use this key and we're going to find out who the culprit is. Oh, great. Come on now. Don't get... There you go. The diamond! Woo! Well, you look at that sparkly rock! And me without my sunglasses! Hi, Lisa. How did you get in here? I followed you, of course. Turns out a nosy goody two shoes detective is good to have around after all. Now, why don't you toss me that big honkin' diamond so I can blow this popsicle stand and never set foot in Lamo, Wisconsin again? Mm. Lisa, you must be kidding me. This diamond belongs in a museum in France. <laughs> yeah? Well, I belong in the lap of luxury, and that diamond's gonna get me there. Hasn't anybody ever told you to mind your own business? Obviously. Oh, many times. Well, maybe this time you'll learn. Oh, my no! Eyes. Don't worry. My spicy devil villain Venom won't last for long. But I'm afraid by the time you get your eyes back, you'll have missed my grand exit. You ain't cruel de vil, girl. <laughs> so you're the one who trapped me in the elevator. Ooh, you are a smarty pants. But let's not forget about your little frostbite incident. I'm the rotten friend who locked you outside too, you know. Just trying to keep you on your toes, Nancy. Didn't want you to get soft on your vacation. Okay, we gotta ask uh, a few more questions after this distraction. Are you the one who caught me on the head in the locker room? Ouch. <laughs> I bet that hurt. But I had to get the medallion somehow, didn't I? I hope we can still be friends. No way. Why did you leave Jacques' medallion at Hotchkiss's room? <coughs> and Hotchkiss's medallion out in the shed? To spread suspicion around, of course. You know, to play with your mind. Plus, I was at a dead end. I got the two messages from the stained glass window, but then what? I knew you would figure it out, so I decided to put the medallions in your hands and let you lead the way. Why are you doing this? <coughs> Haven't you heard? It's a material world, sister, and I am a material girl. Photojournalism pays peanuts, you know, and who wants to work for a living anyway? I was made for a tropical climate, lounge chairs and cabana boys. Really? Why did you have to vandalize that beautiful library? Just a little translation mix-up. When I read the message from Hotchkiss's medallion, I mm -hmm. thought it meant Diamond of Misery in the library. Whoops, <laughs> guess I went a little overboard looking for it in there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, enough with the questions, Nancy. You'll just have to read the rest in the papers. Oh, no. I've got to stop her. This is the trap. Ah! Help! Get me out of here! It stinks down here. It's all moldy. Darn you, Nancy Drew. You're the worst friend a diamond thief could ever have. We're never friends. Goodness. Dear Dad, to think I almost became friends with a diamond thief. Everyone at Wickford Castle is resting easier now that Marie Antoinette's journal and her famous diamond are safe and sound. Yay. The journal, the diamond, and the medallions are all going to be featured in a new Marie Antoinette exhibit in Paris. And it looks like everyone will be rewarded. <laughs> Except Lisa, of course. First, she missed her plane to Rio. And now she's going to be charged with attempted grand theft. Yikes. Professor Hodgkiss is thrilled because a French government has granted her permission to publish Marie's journal in the U.S. before it gets returned to France. This ought to help prove her theory about Marie's character once and for all. Thanks to Jacques and his great-grandfather's efforts to find the journal, the Brunet name is being celebrated all over France. In the meantime, Jacques and Isabelle have eloped. It's so romantic. I showed Dexter the poem that Ezra Wickford wrote him, and he was relieved to know that his old pop didn't carry any hard feelings to his grave. All the talk shows want Dexter to tell his story on national television, but he keeps turning them down. I guess he doesn't want to be famous or infamous. But when Christy Lane called and asked Dexter to be her business partner, he accepted. 
With her business sense and Dexter's expert knowledge of the castle, I think they'll make a great team. So, you know what they say, Dad. Il n'est jamais trop tard de changer l'histoire. It's never too late to change history. Me, I'm determined to go out and enjoy this snow before some other case comes up. See you soon. Love, Nancy. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The culprit is none other than Lisa. I have a feeling there's something suspicious about her. Despite the fact that I already played the game, to be, to be honest. But regardless of that, that is the end of Nancy Drew, Treasure in the Royal Tower. And that is the end of this LP, ladies and gentlemen. So stay tuned for more Nancy Drew Let's Plays because this next one is either going to be back in the past. Well, it's, well, some of them is already back in the past. But this next game is going to be something that I have played before but never got a chance to finish it exactly. And that's mainly because at the time... I, I just don't know what to say. But enough with the rambling. I gotta wrap this up. Uh, you'll find out once um, once we get to that Let's Play. But until then, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe, turn on these notifications so you won't miss a single upload. And I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, be kind to others, and have a blessed day.